Buen camino. Buen camino. Hola, buenos días. Day three. Walking up there. Foreboding clouds ahead. This is an all uphill day. 27 kilometers. Oh, beautiful. Hoping. Fingers crossed. Good intentions. It doesn't rain. It's a long day. I'm adding six kilometers to my day. 33 in total with most incline and some steep vertical climb. Uh, Cruz de Ferro, the cross, which pilgrims, very symbolic. Their efforts, their purpose. For me, they leave a token, like a stone, a rock. They're at the cross. It's very special. I like to go up at sunset when there's no other pilgrims up there and have my alone time. And <laughs> that's my plan, so. And then I can see it in the morning when I walk over it um, and head down the mountain. It's gonna be a beautiful day. <sighs> day three, here we go. Bye, Camino. Nothing like seeing a mountain range way off in the distance, knowing you're about to climb it today. <laughs> ah, definitely teases you what you're capable of. And I was really capable of compassion and patience today and yesterday with pilgrims. Uh, pilgrims in my room, there's about 20 of them. I thought it was a good idea to wake up at four in the morning and organize their 50 plastic bags, incapable of whispering. Oh, that private hotel room is sounding better. Better and better every day. Oh, and I ran into Colorado from day one, Leon. And her mom's not doing too hot. She could barely walk. And the daughter was carrying both backpacks, one on the front, one on the back. I was checking in on them, being compassionate and patient. And I wish them well. I hope uh, they make it. Okay, it's time to go climb a mountain. One of the more enjoyable aspects of walking a Camino is going through these tiny little pueblos. Blink an eye and you're through it. And it's original stone walls. Things are falling apart. But it's just so cute and quaint and enchanting to see people still live here. They still live like this. I get to time travel, walk back in time on the Camino. Hey beauty, you are a beauty. Look at you. Getting kind of steep. Time to pull out the good old walking pole. Typically I don't like to walk with poles unless I have technical ascents and descents. And that is definitely today and tomorrow. So it's good to have at least one pole for taking a little weight off, especially going down, descending, a little weight off, and also more accurate, stronger footing. Something funny just happened back there. I took a little break at the snack shop on the side of the road. I bought a, an Aquarius, Aquarius, I think. It's like a Gatorade. And changed my shirt. But there's nowhere to change, so I just changed it right there in front of everybody. And that's a thing on the Camino. Nobody cares. You know, we're having to drop trow and use the toilet out in Mother Nature in front of pilgrims all the time. Stuffed so many people into bunk beds next to each other. No privacy for not really, you know, people getting changed right next to each other. Nobody cares. <laughs> and definitely a, a mindset I brought back to everyday life. I just, I don't invest in caring so much about something like that. It's natural, we're people. We have bodies. We all know what they look like naked. So who cares? 
Ah, this is so beautiful. Pink woods. Almost to the steep incline. I will have definitely burned some calories today. Oh, I have one little snack with me left and a big ascent ahead of me. I am already losing weight and I just had the best idea. It's so rad I had to share it with you. Uh, I've never been a reverse pilgrim and reverse pilgrim means somebody who's a pilgrim that's going back the way that they came. And I'm not gonna go all the way back, but I am gonna, when I get to Santiago, oh, this is such a great idea. <laughs> I get to Santiago, then I go on to Muxia and the end of the world at Finisterra. And then I'm gonna take Finisterra and walk back to Santiago. And then hop on a direct flight from Santiago to Brussels instead of going to Madrid, which is usually cheap flights out of Madrid, but I found a good flight. Yeah, today from Santiago to Brussels, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be, yay, reverse pilgrim. Break time. These little kitties here. <laughs> you want some treats? Okay, I'll give you some treats. I can share. Come on, get him. Six more kilometers straight uphill. A lot easier than I remembered. <laughs> Beautiful fall colors, absolutely gorgeous. And you look down, you see all the way where you came from and feel such, such a sense of accomplishment. Hooray, I made it. What a beautiful day. Long walk, beautiful day. Couldn't have asked for better weather than this. First thing I did, get a bed, ice my feet while drinking a protein drink for my recovery, making of two blisters right now. Not quite, but <laughs> my Achilles was feeling a little sore. So really important to ice, put them up, which I'll be doing. Look at that beautiful view, beautiful, beautiful views. Just so blissed out, happy, seeing happy pilgrims come in. <laughs> done with a long walk and tonight I've got six more kilometers to go for my special tribute and ceremony at the cross. Stay tuned for that. Buen camino!